This is your King of the Night, Vince Valentine EX Turk, and we're going to be doing a reaction to the updated Final Fantasy 15 trailer. Now, there's going to get more updated for Final Fantasy 15. They're going to be putting more patches in, and this is actually the new gameplay with the patches. Even because people are disappointed with the original game, they're actually going to make pretty much some new patches. The good thing is it's free. You don't have to pay anything for this patch. And I think it's going to be a free update, so you get to do a lot more. I think maybe the episode Gladiolus might cost. Um, episode Prompto might cost, but episode Prompto looks pretty epic. It'll be in the thumbnail once I, you know, get done with the video. Also, to Select Troll, who's, who made a fake account, who keeps, you know, you know, coming from dislike button to making fake accounts of me, I'm going to let you know right now, you're just going to get yourself blocked and removed. You're gonna be blo you're gonna be reported and blocked left and right, so it's just not worth your time making fake accounts trolling me. And I know who you're doing it. I know what YouTuber is doing this, and you know, I'm just gonna and then you know then to cry and beg to be friends with me through through my you know using my subscribers to become friends with me. That's not gonna work. I I don't fuck with people who troll docs make fake accounts and I know you are doing it and, I, and if you're watching this I'm gonna let you know I'm block I, you know I'm gonna report your shit and block it so that's just some new I'm that, that's just some news you know that's just some um updates right there you know that's just some news feed right there for you guys is that I know who the troll is who's making these fake accounts and it's obviously that select youtuber who has a grudge against me and you know I gotta say, it's not worth your time. You might as well quit. You're digging a deeper hole because you're gonna get reported and blocked for everything you're doing. Just letting you know. Now back to the actual reaction to. So we're gonna be getting more updates of this, you know. And I'm sorry that I have to put that in there because I know that has nothing to do, but it's just that's been kind of thing I wanted to address for a while, and I have addressed it. So wait, can I see? I can't even see my background. Sorry. I gotta I got be able to see my full background. It's not gonna work until you see a full background, okay. Now let's get to the actual trailer and then we'll talk about it right after. We already got that, that's established. We already got that. Now this is the thing I want right there, the booster pack. Which I think should come free. I think it's going to come free. So you get to go to different areas. That's pretty good. I think you might have to buy Gl Epso Gladiola, so... I'm pretty sure you do. But that's a good smooth gameplay right there. Episode Prompto, I can't wait for that. That's the one I really gotta have right there, is Episode Prompto. I think this is where you get to fight Verstel because they didn't use any, okay, they didn't use any material, okay, they didn't use any material, you know, that they had before. Like, we never got the new who Verstal was or Loki. Since, um, since Marshall Core, the, the Marshall Core, you know, Marshall Core is going to be uh, included in uh, episode Gladiolus. We're going to probably get to see a fight between Core and uh, uh, fight between Core and uh, a fight between Core with Gladios Gladiolus versus Loki. So we get to see that fight go down, man. And then for Prompto, we get to see him versus Father Verstal. I mean, it's not on the trailer, but I'm making predictions right here that. You know, they're going to actually use up the full thing and make it a full game again. Because that's what they should have done in the beginning. They should have made a full game. Instead of that bullshit chapter 13, they should have made a full game of this. I get they had to cut versus 13 stuff up, but this is the stuff they should have used in there to make the game longer. Make the party separate for a little bit, you know. To get Prompto strong enough for chapter 13, I think th th that they should have included Prompto going in the icy lands with that fur coat. And then he had a challenge of Verstal, and then Verstal uh, tells Prompto he's his father. 
And then that's when Prompto figures out the truth and is like, you know what? I'm one of I'm an MT. That's how you figure out he was empty all along. Because remember, Prompto's adopt, adopted, but in the strategy guide, Verstal, I, I'm going to call him Verstal because I think that's how you pronounce it, is actually uh, his father. It's in the guidebook. So, father, you know, you know, because it, 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 it brings the drama into this. Like how Luna Freya's brother, Ravis, was part of the Niflheim Empire. This, is, this game is mostly family drama, if you really think about it. You know, because Verstal versus Prompto would be a perfect add-on because Verstal is Prompto's biological father. As Arden, as Zun Lucius Kylium, is Noctis's greatest descendant. Pretty much, I'd call him, you know, great-grandpa, pretty much, at this point. He's great. He's Noctis's great-grand... Arden is... Noctis' great grandpa and Ravis Knox Ray, Luna Freya's brother, joins up with the Niflheim Empire. This game is has a lot of family drama into this, so this will make it better. Now Loki and Core are not family, but I think it'd be a good episode because it says in the guidebook Loki has problems with Core. Meaning that maybe Core probably trained him. And he thinks that he, he think you know, Loki thinks he failed them, or something like that, or they just, or maybe, or maybe they like the same girl, but Kor got the girl, and Loki was bitter about it. I don't know. Something happened between Loki and Kor to make them hate each other. You know, well, I don't know if Kor really hates him, but there's got to be something there. But it, this is gonna be, this is, this should have been in in the game. At, during launch. That's all I gotta say. This should have been in the game during launch instead of making cutbacks. That would have made even a fuller story because they will. Uh, they, they didn't make a longer game. They didn't want to have to pull bullshit in chapter 13 because now you get to fight all the members of the Niflheim Empire. Every single member. And not only that, figuring out everything that happened, you know? Instead of pull that. And then maybe we can get, uh, uh let's see. Parts of the episode that explains what happens to Noctis in the ten, Noctis in the ten years, because that's what everybody's wondering about is what happened to Noctis in, within the ten years. Exactly. I'm even trying to figure it out. I'm making guess that he was locked up in prison for ten years, or the he was in stasis with Bahamut for ten years. But you know, we never got to see what really happened, and I think this will probably put in the, the story in perspective. I also would love to be able to go back to Crown City, <laughs> like you know. If you could travel back in time with Umbra, I think it's possible to make it possible that Umbra could go to Tenebrae, go to Niflheim territory, Magitech factory like it was in the game. The train could take us somewhere. And also, I think it'd be possible that Umbra could take us so much to the past and be before the events of King's Glaive in Crown City so we could travel Crown City. We just won't be able to see King Regis or anybody of that caliber because things have already happened considering you why you don't see Luna Freya when you travel back in the past with Umbra because it don't change the past of the characters it just changes the past it changes the, it, it just it just changed the past where you could go back there and do side quests and missions which I think a, a crown city would be better and also unlock all these extra territories they got but most of all I'd like them to put more backstory at least with Noctis to see what happened within the 10 years but otherwise this looks good and the good thing is it's free it's a free DLC the only thing I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to pay for is episode Prompto and episode Gladiolus but I think if it does separate without the season pass we're looking at four or five dollars each and if you're going to ask in March, if I got any money left over from Nakakom, which is that's in March, by the way, which I'm going to attend there if you want if you want to see me there. Um, you know, I, if I got any money left from Nakakom, I'm going to go ahead and put in my PayPal and get the Prompto DLC or the or the and the Gladiolus DLC. I'll pay the $10 or better yet, I'd get the whole season pass. So anything I'd save up and get the season pass so I can get everything. That the only DLC they need to release is we need to have RNA in your party. We need to have RNA. Keep hashtagging RNA Highwind DLC. Do it in the comments so Square Enix could take us seriously. You know, now don't spam on all the other Final Fantasy community channels. 
Just do it in mind. Put it on there for RNA a high wind DLC as a comment with the hashtag in it. You know, because we still need that. But otherwise, I think this is going to be really good. Uh, I'm hyped for this, so I'm going to end this right here. May the crystal be with you. Have a nice day.